Hey guys, it's Mikey Chen. Every so often, doctors will encounter a patient with a problem so unusual, the only thing they can really do is give it a weird or difficult to pronounce name. So here are some of the strangest, most mysterious medical conditions ever recorded that really illuminate the limits and mysteries of the human body. And some of these are a bit graphic, so maybe don't eat while watching this. Number one, epidermal dysplasia verisiformis, or Treeman syndrome. Treeman syndrome first gained international attention when Discovery Channel featured an Indonesian man named Didi Kazuara, also known as Treeman, on a documentary entitled Half Man, Half Tree. Many were baffled to see a man who seems to be covered in bark. But these growths are actually warts that can't be exacerbated by exposure to sunlight. While these warts may be benign early in life, they can become malignant later in life. The warts are caused by a rare mutation of the two EV genes, though the function of the genes isn't really well understood. While there are some treatment options available to mitigate the syndromes, there is no cure. Number two, aquagenic urticaria or water allergy. As the majority of our body is made out of water, it does seem odd that an allergy to it would even exist. Though it isn't a true allergy because it doesn't trigger a histamine response, but there are some who develop itchy hives and welts even after mere minutes of water exposure. This condition is quite rare and the cause isn't well known. Some have speculated that the water itself isn't the cause, but rather specific chemicals or impurities that are ubiquitous within water. However, even purified water can trigger a reaction among some. One extreme case is 44-year-old mother of two Barbara Ward from Hartpool, England. Mrs. Ward was diagnosed with this rare disorder after being hospitalized when a shower sent her into severe anaphylactic shock. Mrs. Ward cannot even drink plain water and can only handle a few sips of tea or milk at a time. She cannot exercise in case she breaks into a sweat. She avoids tearjerker movies and TV shows in case she tears up. And of course, she has to stay indoors during rainstorms. Even the simplest day-to-day -day tasks such as washing the dishes, bathing her children, or taking a shower could kill her. Number three, spatial orientation syndrome. A woman from Serbia sees the world upside down because of a rare brain condition called spatial orientation phenomena. 28-year-old Bajana Danilovic has to turn her TV, books, and newspapers upside down because her brain does not process images in the normal way. Although her eyes see the world the right way up, her brain then flips the image. Researchers don't really seem to know exactly how it happens, they just know that it does happen and where it happens in the brain. In order to watch TV, Danilovic watches one television that is balanced upside down while her family watches another the right way up. Having had the condition since birth, she said, it may look incredible to other people, but to me, it's completely normal. Number four, walking corpse syndrome. I don't see why this one is so weird because I think a lot of people have this every single morning. Also known as Cotard syndrome, it is a neuropsychiatric disorder in which a person, get this, believes they are dead or or missing their soul, organs, blood, or certain body parts. This disorder has been recognized as a component of psychiatric illness, such as depression, but neuroimaging has also linked some cases of cold hearts to neurological changes. Because the condition is so rare, it has been difficult to pinpoint what exactly causes it. Fortunately, patients can also spontaneously experience a complete recovery, you know, once they fall in love with a gorgeous blonde girl. Number five, Five. You know most medical conditions have super hard to pronounce fancy names, but this next one, uh, maybe doctors got a bit lazy. It's called Jumping Frenchman of Maine. Yeah, seriously. Jumping Frenchman of Maine disorder is used to describe the bizarre condition first documented in the northern parts of Maine by George Miller Beard in 1878. That's when Beard noticed that a lot of the French Canadian lumberjacks, and uh, lumberjacks, they're supposed to be pretty tough. Anyway, these lumberjacks were uncharacteristically jumping and screaming like little girls at the slightest provocation. The exact cause of jumping Frenchmen of Maine is unknown. The disease appears only in parts of northern Maine and is largely restricted to French Canadian lumberjacks, which to some suggest that it may be genetic or, you know, maybe they ran into this guy. And what's even more strange is that not only do these sufferers scare 
easy. They will enact basically any simple command as long as you suddenly scream it at them. Now, I could see this going really bad if these lumberjacks were wandering around New York City, say, during rush hour, where a lot of these commands are usually being randomly screamed at people anyway. And it usually involves telling people to, you know, go somewhere warm. Number six, Alice in Wonderland syndrome. In Alice's adventure in Wonderland, the main character experiences transformations such as shrinking and expanding. This condition, also known as Toss syndrome, usually presents migraines that distort perception of size and distance. Episodes which can last up to an hour involve seeing objects or people as very big, very small, or further away than they actually are. A person with the condition may even be confused about his or her own body shape and size. In many cases, the cause of the syndrome is not defined, and episodes can arise from several different medical conditions, most commonly an infection. The syndrome typically affects young children, and many patients with this condition are able to grow out of it by the time they reach their teenage years, but some of the symptoms may be experienced throughout the lifespan. Number seven, hemlocrea. Hemlocrea is a real physical condition that causes people to actually cry tears of blood. The tears of people suffering from this condition may range from being just tinged red to entirely made of blood. While the exact cause or cure for this condition is not clear, it is known to be a symptom of several blood-related diseases or tumors. Number eight, progressive lipodystrophy. Sometimes called reverse Benjamin Button syndrome, lipodystrophy makes sufferers look old beyond their years. In the case of 15-year-old Zara Hartstrong, she was once mistaken for the mother of her older 16 year old sister. Researchers are not entirely sure what causes this disorder. Some guesses include inherited by a gene mutation or acquired through medications, autoimmune mechanisms, or other unidentified processes. Lipodystrophy is characterized by the loss of fat tissue from beneath the skin. Most commonly, fat loss occurs in the face followed by the neck, upper extremities, and trunk. This can cause dense folds and wrinkles in the skin. Unfortunately, there is no cure or treatment for lipodystrophy besides insulin, facelifts, or collagen injections, which eventually will fade. You know, not only do we not understand these bizarre medical conditions, there are many seemingly simple and common things about our bodies that we still don't get, like why we have these maybe alien overlord branded ID tags called fingerprints, or why we have different blood types. Also, what I find really interesting about illnesses that no one can really explain is the theory that some of these illnesses are actually carried over from previous lives. I'm not saying that's what's causing these disorders, I just find those theories pretty interesting. But let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching everybody. See you later.